Hey guys, it's uh, seven o'clock in the morning, leaving my home state of North Carolina to visit the Sunshine State, going down to Live Oak, Florida for the Swanee Fly-In. It's an eight hour drive, but you know, something tells me it's gonna be worth it. Okay, now it's a road trip. Here's my home for the next several days. Skinny Chef Shane. Hey, Brian. Hey, Bill. How good. are you doing? Doing good. Yeah, good to see you. Good meet you, you in oh, person. Oh, oh, oh. You look the same! <laughs> we we'll fly! I will fly! Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> okay, so heading to Walmart to pick up some beer, some soda, and a smoker. <laughs> and no gloves. Fly-ins. If you haven't been to one and you don't know anybody who is going, hook up with the uh, host of the fly-in. And if you're new, let them know that. The paramotor community is more than helpful. I mean, they will go out of their way 
to help somebody who's asking for help. Sometimes too much. Man, I don't know where Shane's going. I was going to follow him, but uh, I'm not really sure where he's going. I guess he's just getting out of Dodge, which is what you want to do when you're out of flying after you launch. It's, man, don't, don't hang out over the LZ. And it disturbs the air and makes it harder for people to launch, people to land, and do what the primary thing in LZ is designed for it. Let's see, I gotta look for that big ass pole. Uh, I broke Jason's pole, so I'm now the proud owner of a 19 foot <laughs> windsock pole, and I bought him a new one. I has traveled, I think it's 250 miles from Pensacola all the way to Suwannee. And uh, so here he is. We've been waiting for him. Tell us that real quick. Was a kick-ass flight. One stop? One stop. 244 miles. 244 miles. Dang, I love this little dude. I really like the sticker. <laughs> Eat, sleep, paramotor. Right. right on, man. If I can get my feet up here. I lowered a chair six inches since doing this last time. The center of gravity was just too high. It was really wobbly. It's still wobbly on its uneven surface. That takes some talent right there. Right. Now he's doing it. The plan here is to become members of the Mile High Club. Never trust the skinny chef Shane. Agree to do it with me. All right, so we got to get up to 5,280 feet. I'm going to just kind of tag along and let someone else take the lead. Because I don't know how to get to 5,280 feet. <laughs> I got an Adam 80. These guys got Mosters. They've got a lot better performance than I do as far as climb rate. Okay, so I mashed the throttle for 45 minutes and it's, I could only get up to 4,950 feet no matter how hard I tried. So, <laughs> so I don't know if that's like the limit of the Adam 80 or, or what, but um, yeah, hey, I tried. So there you have it. Uh, my buddy Shane, he did get up to uh, a mile high, so way to go, Shane. I'm gonna show you how to do pulled pork. Take it like this, and you just do this. <laughs> Syrup, honey, Butter. brown sugar, Jimmy Dean sausage, yep. and, yeah. and baked beans. That is so awesome. It's a Kevlar wick on a chain. Right. And you dip it in kerosene. Uh, it's camping fuel. Or camping fuel. Man, you're playing with fire. I'm <laughs> playing with fire. That's, that's true. Well, that's it, guys. That's the 2021 Live Oak Swanee Fly-In video I've got for you. Man, if you're anywhere close or can get to a fly-in, do it. You don't even have to bring your freaking paramotor, man. You will have a good time, I guarantee it. <laughs> so, next fly in is going to be at Bad Apples in Georgia. I plan on being there. And uh, then, of course, you got Moonshiners. That, uh, man, 
I think that's in August. I don't know. And then Dave Purden, that's September in Ohio. Moonshiners is in Tennessee. So I'm definitely going to all of those. There's a possibility that I'll be going to Endless Foot Drag, but that's really far out west for me. I don't know. We'll just play it by ear. So hey, hope you enjoyed the video, and until next time, ciao. It looks so good.